find the sum of the series. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to break it up. So note that if you have 2 to the n plus 1 over 3 to the n, we can write this as 2 to the n over 3 to the n plus 1 over 3 to the n. Then we can take a step further and use properties of exponents to write this as 2 over 3, and the whole thing is to the nth power. And if we think of 1 as 1 to the n, we can do the same thing here. This is 1 over 3, and the whole thing is to the nth power. So we can take this and write it as a sum of two infinite geometric series. So this is the sum as n runs from 1 to infinity of 2 thirds to the n plus, and then we have another sum, again running from 1 to infinity, and this would be 1 over 3 to the n. Okay, so both of these are geometric series, and the number here you see is r. It's called the common ratio. And so whenever the absolute value of r is less than 1, uh, the series will converge. So both of these are convergent because here r is 2 thirds. It's less than 1 in absolute value, so we're good. Here r is 1 third. It's less than 1 in absolute value, so we're good. So to find the sum is a trick. Okay, the trick tells us that basically you take whatever number is here, in this case 1, and you plug it in for the n, and the result goes up top. So this is 2 thirds, and then you always divide by 1 minus r, so it's 1 minus 2 thirds. Again, take whatever number is here, plug it in for n, put the result up top, and then divide by 1 minus r. Same thing here. You take this number, you just put it here, that goes up top, and then you just divide by 1 minus r, so 1 minus 1 third. And that always works, okay? If there's a 0 here, you do the same thing. You plug in the 0, put the result up top, 1 minus r. If there's a 7 here, you take the 7, put it here, and then just divide by 1 minus r. So always works every time. All right, let's keep going. This is equal to 2 over 3 over... We can think of 1 as 3 over 3, so it's 3 over 3 minus 2 over 3, which is 1 over 3, plus 1 over 3. Again, think of 1 as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. Really, really nice. So this is equal to, well, we're dividing, so we multiply by the reciprocal in both cases. So 2 thirds divided by 1 third is 2 thirds times 3 over 1 plus, and then this is 1 third divided by 2 thirds. So it's times the reciprocal, which is 3 over 2. Goes away, goes away, goes away, goes away. <laughs> Too much fun. This is 2 plus 1 half. If you think of 2 as 4 halves, you can add these up, and so you will get 5 over 2. And that would be the sum of the series. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.